Right, well I thought I'd do a little video about the tractor we've just bought. Not this one, but this one next to it. It's a McCormick CX105 four-wheel drive and uh, we basically bought it to replace the old Massey we've got here, a uh, Massey Ferguson 690. It's done us pretty good service, um, we've had it uh, 20 years. The tractor itself is about 31 years old uh, and the replacement we bought is um, 2005 so a lot newer. Um, we had to get it really because the old one was getting a bit past it. Uh, I thought we'd just do a little bit of a contrast here. I mean you can see it's four wheel drive as opposed to the old two wheel drive on the other one. Um, and it is, they've improved the tractors a lot. I mean just straight away you look at the access on here on the on the engine. We can open that up. Straight away you can get in on the bonnet. Um, a lot more glass on the cab. And we look around the back, there's not a lot of difference really. It's a pickup hitch, three-point linkage. And we come back onto the old Massey. So two-wheel drives, little small wheels at the front. Access to the bonnet's not quite the engine's not quite so good, it's all a little bit basic. Still getting there okay. But poor old tractor seen better days. You can see it's starting to rot out here. If we come around here, look at this. Background, we've still got the mower on the back, but we're still using it. It's still a good viable tractor, but the decay on it is quite bad, isn't it? And there's part of my tractor cab. Big holes in the side there. Unfortunately, it seems that the metal from these tractors was quite poor when they made them. So they've rotted out rather than uh, wear worn out. And if we have a little look inside, we can see the contrast. Very same lay layout, although nowadays the gear gear sticks aren't in the middle. A bit darker than inside than the other cab. We'll have a look at the other one in a minute. But uh, it's still the old-fashioned dial dials on the uh, dashboard. Nothing electronic. Still a good tractor though, because at the end of the day you can fix this yourself. You know, it's all very mechanical. Basic, basic sort of three-point linkage up and down here. Accelerator on the floor. And one reverse and everything on the gear sticks. But uh, I mean, unfortunately, it's just had its day. If we look in the other cab now, we see quite a difference. So, again, have a look inside the cab of the McCormick. It's a lot lighter in area, no gear, box, gear sticks in the middle. See, all the controls are on the side here. There's the gear sticks high and low there. But also, interesting, you can go forward and reverse on a paddle here. Don't even have to put your foot on the clutch for this because it's got a hydro clutch. Um, and looking at the instrument panel, I'll just turn it on. You can see it's all electronic. That's the number of hours it's done, 2,288, which isn't too bad for a tractor that's eight years old. Should keep us going for quite a few years. Obviously, the trouble is with something like this is when it goes wrong, I can't fix that. But then hopefully it'll be reliable. We've, had, we've got another McCormick, it's 10 years old and it seems pretty good. You can see a lot lighter area cab, air con up here. A um, bit more robust than the other one with the four wheel drivers, the loader for McCormick loader, um, sorry, quickie loader controls there. You can just see on there. Ultimately, we need a tractor that we can rely on because it's expensive to get an engineer out when it goes wrong and we can't really rely on a 30 year old tractor. Um, but whatever tractor you get, I know there's a bit of snobbery in tractor world. Some people like Ford, some people like Massey's, McCormick's. At the end of the day, I always think it doesn't matter what tractor you drive as long as you can get the job done. I mean this is McCormick for us but some people have a, a preference to other tractors. Anyway, that's a little tour of the uh, old and new tractor and we'll end up finishing on the Massey which I think we'll probably go for export and we'll probably sell that fairly soon.